So this week on uh, Coffee Break, we're going to be talking about delays. You know, we had the delay of No Man's Sky uh, that just came out. So we figured it'd be a good time to kind of talk about that. So to kick things off, uh, Jess, I wanted to start by asking you a question. Um, and my question is, what even constitutes a delay? Um, so obviously No Man's Sky was delayed. That was very clear. Um, it was supposed to be, it had a specific date to release. Um, and the developer said, we need to push it back a few weeks. Um, very clear delay. But for instance, the new Zelda game that was promised to come out like one year ago, two years ago, would you consider that game um, to be currently in delay? Mm, that's a good question. Um, yeah, I think in those situations where it's really been like a, a long time since it was supposed to come out, it's not so much of a delay as it is that they just lied about when it was going to come out, you know what I mean? Um, so I guess there's situations in which you think that it's, it's possible, you know, that someone thought they were going to be able to get it done by a certain time marker, and it just didn't happen. You know, there's a lot of work that goes into video games, and sometimes, you know, things fall through or something takes longer than you thought. So, yeah, you know, it could be delayed. Um, I think the delay could have to be, you know, up to probably like six or seven months even. But, you know, if it gets to be over a year, I think it's, it's possible that, you know, you were just, the game developer for that situation might have just been trying to put a timestamp on it that was way too ambitious to sort of build hype, you know? Um, mm. So in, in those situations, I don't see how someone would have thought it was going to be done by then if it ends up being one year or two years later that it was supposed to be. I mean, how did you think you were going to get that much work done in that small amount of time? Um, then again, I don't work on games, so for all I know, that's a possibility. But it just seems a little more far-fetched to me, I guess. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. It kind of feels like, um, I think especially in the case of Nintendo, which we know they're not really doing anything for E3 this year, which is really weird. Um, I mean, normally they're not there and they do their little pre-recording thing, which is also strange. Um, but yeah, it feels like a way to kind of, in the, in the case of Zelda, I think it's like a way to satiate the masses. So, you know, you tell us that it's coming out, but you give a really vague time for that so like you know holiday 2015 holiday 2016 you know we kind of assume it's going to be you know december winter area um, but then when that kind of passes no one I, I feel like it's a way to like you know build the hype for it um but have the safety net of well we never said it when it was going to come out so like you're kind of looking forward to it and it seems like a reason to kind of um you know get invested with the company without actually having to produce the thing that you said you would produce because you didn't technically say you'd produce it um, so it feels like a kind of like a cheap loophole, I think, in in those cases. Right. Yeah, there's definitely less. It feels like there's less responsibility if there's sort of a definite time stamp. Um, I mean, I'm I'm playing uh, Pokemon uh, Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby with my brother right now, which you know, um, and I hope he doesn't watch this video. But but I'm you know gonna just point out really fast, you know, that if I tell my brother, I don't, I never tell my brother, hey, I'm going to be ready for our next battle, you know, um, right now our next one's going to be at level 30, you know, Pokemon. I don't say I'm going to be ready for our next battle this Friday. You know, I say, oh, should be soon, you know, should be okay. sometime in the next, you, you know, like give us something really vague. And then, and then, you know, you can't really get mad at me if I'm not ready on time. So I'm like, well, you know, I did tell you it might be a little while, or, you know, I'm kind of busy right now. But if you say Friday, someone's allowed to get mad if you're not ready by Friday. So, so I get it. Yeah, I guess, I guess we all kind of have those tendencies, which makes sense, you know, publishers are, are human, um, despite what we say on the internet. Um, so I kind of want to bring up uh, another question as well. So you we were, you know, as you know, um, but for those of you who don't know, you know, who aren't just us, um, we have a, a, a chat on GroupMe where we just talk about video game things. Um, and you brought up on there um, the question, would you rather have the game is delayed or is it released as an incomplete? Um, so you pose that question. So I guess uh, it's only fair since you pose it that I can kind of start with an answer and then you can give yours. Um, it, yeah, uh, oddly enough, I talked about this game on this channel already, uh, but Splatoon did that. They very much did that. They released the game. And it didn't have a lot in it, and we're like, "Is this the game? It's kind of, it's kind of short. It's kind of small, you know. It's um, it has a campaign mode of a couple hours, um, but it's mainly a multiplayer. And we're like, it's not a lot of uh, stadiums. There's not well, not stadiums, but stages and things. And then eventually they kept adding um, free DLCs until the game was eventually finished. So um, the game just turned a year old, I think, a few days ago actually. And I remember telling my brother because um, he told me about it, and I'm like, "Wow, it's um." I can't believe it's been a year since Splatoon came out. And he's like, well, the, the reason you probably can't believe that is because the game wasn't actually finished until like four months after it came out. Um, 
so I think as far as uh, that question, I think my opinion on it is if the fixes are minimal, it's okay. Um, so, you know, we see this a lot with indies, especially smaller indies that have less funding, a couple extra things added for bugs and things that they didn't anticipate um, that occurred after they published it and released it to, to the public. Um, but I think if it's, like, something a lot more, like, large, you know, like a whole new, like, you know, world is added, or, um, like, a lot of levels that are, like, essential to the story or important storylines or things like that, like, things that you can't... Um, things that if you would ignore them, it'd be a disservice to the quality of the game. Um, that's when I think that you should just wait. But I think if they're just kind of things where you're like, oh, no, no, I'm not done yet. You know, I just want to add this extra thing. Like with No Man's Sky, I'm kind of wondering um, what kind of issues they're running into where they only need a few weeks to solve them. Because I feel like if it's a delay for something really important, it would take longer than that. Maybe that's just my, you know, that's my, my ignorance of not making games. Um, I'm sure someone who makes games is, you know, really upset at that statement but um it just kind of it's it's a little weird not having that transparency so i think as a consumer it's a little like well what's what's happening and why don't i have my game <laughs> yeah we're really demanding in the game community um and i love us in the game community most of the time i mean some of us are pretty awful actually but for the most part I, i'm a, I'm a big, big fan of, of the gaming community um but i do think it collects a lot of demands um sort of on like the information that we're getting and when we're getting things um but just if I could go back really fast to Splatoon, so would you rather that the Splatoon had been released later than they had expected, or were you okay with those levels sort of existing after the, the game had launched? Like, would you prefer that it came out six or seven months later and was just completely done from start to finish? Um, you know, like, on an ethical standpoint, I think I would definitely prefer it just to be released when it's done, because I felt very much, like, not necessarily cheated, but it's like, oh, you didn't actually finish this game, and now you're finishing it. And that, that annoyed me for some reason. I don't know why it annoyed me, because it didn't really affect my experience of the game personally. I still liked it a lot. I knew more stuff was coming, so I was kind of okay. Um, I think the fact that they were kind of transparent about the fact that they were going to start releasing new things, and they started doing that pretty quickly on, um, made it better. But I guess I don't actually... It, d it doesn't actually bother me looking back on it. It just kind of... It was a weird thing to have done, but the fact that they didn't didn't affect my enjoyment of it as a consumer. Um, and once again, I was talking to my brother last night about game delays and things. And one thing he mentioned is that like in, in the history of games, like when you look back and think on games, you never, if it's a good game, you don't care if it was delayed at all or, or, or what weird things happen. So like with Splatoon, even though that's something I remember a lot because it was really a weird and kind of negatively unique experience, um, at the end of the day, I don't care that that happened because I love Splatoon. It's a great game. Um, it was a pretty good game when it came out and you just knew it wasn't really done and they finished it after the fact and it was completely fine. Um, and it kind of added some extra experiences to um, what you were already used to. So, um, so yeah, that's not really a fully an answer for it. Um, I guess, like, in, in theory, I care. In practice, I don't, which I think is delays in general. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's true. And I think also my opinion on it has sort of um, changed as I've gotten a little older. Um, I guess just because I've had some bad experiences where they're like, maybe you should have delayed this more. Um, and now I'm sort of like more willing to be patient and I'm like hoping people will take more time and just give me a really good game. Because I know that like, so there's like a big problem with Mass Effect 3 when that first came out. Um, people were not happy <laughs> with the ending and a lot of the other stuff in it. And there had been delays and delays and delays, you know, before it came out because it's like this big game and of course it was going to be delayed a lot um but after a while you know they did release it um and there were some issues um just with plot and the ending everyone was so super pissed about the ending i'm not a fan of the way it ended and then afterwards they they sort of released new endings you know um like sort of like a free download like you had said but a lot of people had already played and beat the game you know and it's like a lot of time commitment and sort of like you you, it's not just like that game it's the two games before it and so like you have this whole character you took through the whole series and now you didn't get the big payoff ending that you wanted um and so yeah they kind of fixed it but not really i mean people are people will still just rant about it and i will rant with them um but they could have just you know like taken more time i would have been okay with them taking more time and that's why even though you know, Andromeda, Mass Effect Andromeda has been delayed um, recently, um, and I expect it to be delayed again, you know, in the future. I'm fine with it. I just want it to be good. So I kind of, I got to a point where I'm like, okay, you know, just do whatever you need to do. You know, I don't care. I don't care when it when it's out. I mean, within reason, but, um, but just make it good, you know, because then 
really, um, we're brutal. Like, gamers are brutal. So if there's any problems with it, you're just going to get torn apart. So might as well take your time and just finish it. There's lots of other games to play in the meantime. I don't know what the big deal is, honestly. Yeah, it's interesting that you bring that up because I was literally just about to mention that. Um, I was looking on Twitter um, before this um, talk we were having right now at, like, what thing people were saying about the No Man's Sky delay. Um, and, like, one thing that um, a female journalist, I can't remember her name, but she brought up, um, I don't mind waiting because I have so many other games to play. So do you kind of feel like the um, the size of the market has, like, helped consumers, I guess, cope with the fact that there are delays? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's hard for me to tell just because I've also, my, myself, I've grown as a gamer a lot, even just the past couple of years. Like, I'm more willing to try different kinds of games. Um, when I was a kid, you know, it, I wanted the games I wanted right away because those were the games I liked. You know, so um, I was really into Elder Scrolls, um, and I say a kid, I mean mostly like middle school and high school, but um, really into Elder Scrolls and those types of games, and they're really big games, right? And so they only come out, like Elder Scrolls comes out maybe once every like six years, I think. Um, and I don't know, there gets to be a point in your life where you're like, well, I just can't wait six years, you know, until I play another game. Um, and so maybe that helps help me to look for other options, I'm not sure. But I, I definitely feel like um, with the, the size of my backlog that, you know, it's almost stressful when, like, games I want to play come out. Because I'm like, man, now I've got to play this. And you really want to play it. But, like, dang, there's so much to do. Um, I don't know if that's something you've had experience with or um, if there's been any games that you've sort of really been waiting to come out, like, anxiously. Um, I'm not sure what, what your background is with that. Yeah, I think... Um so I guess to, I guess two things that kind of tie into that. Uh, one, with your comments on Mass Effect, I think it's interesting that your experience with delays um, and you feeling like looking back, the game wasn't delayed enough, and and you wish it had taken more time um, just to be made because you were un, unhappy with the quality of of it in terms of plot. Uh, I think I, I've almost had the opposite effect. I've had like games that I've been like intrigued by. You know, this Cuphead. I, I talk about Cuphead all the time because I think it's kind of funny how much it's been delayed and you're like, oh my God, is this ever coming out? It's become like the, you know, for any hip hop fans watching, you know, like when's Dr. Dre's album coming out? Which it actually did come out like um, a few months ago, maybe a year ago, it was like in November, um, which I also did a post on on a different blog. But like that was like the joke of like the community, like, oh, this is never coming out. It's never going to happen. Um, so I think I've, I've gotten like delay baggage from those experiences. Um, so even though I'm pretty confident that No Man's Sky is going to come out and it'll come out just fine, it's like, is this the beginning of, of the, is this the new Cuphead? You know, that's, and that's completely unreasonable, but that's like my perspective on it just because I've uh, been burned before. You know, this my number nine also has not come out yet, I don't think. Um, it's like the, the Mega Man, um, what's the word? It's not like a follow-up, but it's like the one where like it's, a fan makes it, it's like inspired by uh, sp like spiritual successor, I think is the name. Um, yeah, so, like, that hasn't come out, um, so, so I have weird baggage, and I think a good amount of the gaming community has a lot of weird baggage, uh, you know, self-included, and then, um, right, the other part of your question, which is, are there games, um, that I've, like, been itching to play, or, or do I feel like I have games, you know, to, to satiate me until then, I think, um, I think the only game I probably would have gotten really upset with with delays would probably be, like when the which I think I've also talked about this game on the show already, but the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon game, um, because I love Luigi's Mansion and like I never knew if there would be another one and when there was, like I think if that would have been delayed, that would have like destroyed me, like on a, a level that I'm glad I didn't have to have to experience. Um but I, I think that's about it. I think that I think that's where the No Man's Sky Inks comes from though. Because like even though this game hasn't come out, like and I don't know, it's a kind of weird there's like this huge huge cult following to No Man's Sky. Like, I was looking on their Twitter, they have, like, all these followers already. There's, like, fan Twitter accounts of, like, the game, and it's, like, and there are people just going crazy about this game. So I think that's where, that's where, like, the intensive delay angst came from because people have been blogging about this game already. Like, the game's not even out. Like, what, I don't even know what people are talking about. Like, I mean, like, on Big Culture's thing, we have at least two blogs on No Man's Sky that are already out, you know? They've been out for, like, like people are itching for this. Um, and, yeah, I guess, I guess there's something a little dangerous with with the popularity of it. And I think I'm also a little suspicious on, once again, with the delay, because there's so much hype for the game. I'm wondering if the developers are like, wait, hold on, let me like do this again to make sure that it lives up to it. Uh, you know, I think there's a lot of pressure on this game and that might've been the, one of the reasons for the delay. 
You know, that being said, I think that the longer, it's possible that the longer you delay, the more expectation there is, you know? Like, mm-hmm. if you release it early and it's not great, people are like, well, you released it too early, so it makes sense. But if you, like, delay and delay and delay and it's not perfect, then it's like, what were you doing with all your time, with all your extensions, you know? Like, why isn't mm-hmm. this a good paper? That's <laughs> kind of what it feels like, so, I don't know. Yeah, um... I guess only time will tell, which I feel like is kind of hokey to say when we're talking about delays and timelines of games. Um, But yeah. Hey, we're hokey people, so. True facts. (laughs) 